Welcome back to another nutty new video. It's April 6th, about 10, 11 p.m. right now. <coughs> I was heading northbound, northbound out of Anchorage, right on the Muldoon exit. And as I got to J Beer, <coughs> there's a big, massive, uh, there's a big, massive truck hauling a big old rocket. It looks like a big old space rocket. And I don't know what is going on, but they're gonna they're gonna come by here soon because this is the only way to get back out. So what they did was they got on the J Bear exit, heading northbound on the Glen Highway, <coughs> exit on the J Bear ramp, and then they have to get back down the ramp because they can't go under the bridge. So we're gonna wait here and see it come. It is the biggest rocket I've ever seen in my life they have like five or they have like 10 vehicles spotting it and man it is just super impressive i bet this red truck <coughs> is waiting to see it as well <coughs> i'm parked over here the wait station's all closed already but man i can't wait to show you guys this they're gonna be coming up here soon i'm i want i will say maybe another 10 minutes or so like i said they have like 10 15 plus spotters First, I thought it was a traffic jam because I saw all the red lights, tail lights. <coughs> and then as I passed it, I thought that it was a car accident or something. And then what do you know? There's a big old rocket ship. So <coughs> they're gonna come here soon, shortly. And uh, we'll see them once, once they come up. They got tons of ha uh, hazard flashing lights and lots of spotters, so. They're not gonna get away right now. It's the way station's closed. So the next bridge that they're gonna have to go over <coughs> is right here, half a mile. And the half mile is the Eagle River Highland Road. And I think they have to exit that. They will have to exit it. It is a bit chilly tonight. Woo! <coughs> really chilly. <coughs> I'm safe, guys. I'm off the highway. I got my reflector vest. Just waiting for them to come by. Now the J Bear where I passed them was about maybe three, four miles away. But these guys are going super slow and super caution. They're super high too, so they can't go under any bridges. So they have to <coughs> take these uh overhaul or these are uh, exit paths. But they're gonna come up here because there's only one way in, one way out, and I'm not sure where they're heading. Maybe they're heading all the way north to Fairbanks. Maybe they're heading all the way north to Prudhoe Bay. I don't know, man. There's no space station up in Alaska that I know of. The other place that they may be heading up to could be Harp, which is in uh, up by Glen Allen. So I think that might be them. Nope, it doesn't look like it. They got like a lot of spotters. So like five spotters in front, five more in the back. But this is going to be an amazing scene. I can't wait for you guys to see this. I'm shaking right now. It's so freezing. No, oh, that's not them. That's a big truck, but that's not them. There they come, guys. There they come. I just saw one spotter vehicle. <coughs> one truck just went that way. He's the spotter. He's going all the way up. There's another one right there. State of Alaska operational. Whoa, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> Those guys are going way up ahead because they need to block every exit. <coughs> they have to block every single exit, every entrance onto the highway. Don't let anyone get on or off. This is going to be nuts. Uh oh, there's a vehicle exiting right there. That might be a spotter, but they're going to be coming here soon. Yep, that might be a spotter blocking it. <coughs> this might be classified stuff too, man. Who knows? If that's a spotter, I'll go ahead and ask them some information and see what's going on, what the, what the heck this thing is. Everyone is pulling over just like myself to witness whatever this thing is. Massive rocket ship. There they come. I see some flashing lights, guys. <coughs> this is amazing. Oh yeah, they're coming. 
All right, they're the next light right there. That big old batch of light. That's all vehicle spotters and that big old spaceship. We're just gonna call it a big rocket ship. I see the rocket ship coming. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. <coughs> yep, the ladies behind me are also waiting for this. It's nice to have my reflector vest. I look kind of official. I feel like I'm part of the team here. Stand by guys, they're on the way right there. <coughs> There they come. <coughs> We're gonna try to get a glimpse of this. We're gonna get a glimpse of this and see what the heck this thing is. Might be some highly classified rocket ship that just fell down off the skies or who knows what it is, but all that light right there on the left, far left lane, that's all the convoy. This is amazing. There it is, there's one of the spotter. Super, super slow, like 10 miles per hour. There they come, man. April 6, 2023, we're witnessing something amazing here in Anchorage, Alaska, northbound Glen Highway. Roughly almost about midnight right now. Lots and lots of spotter vehicles with a hefty convoy coming up here soon look at all the convoy here there goes another spotter over 10 plus spotter overload right there oversize <coughs> this is amazing how cool is that man oh man this is so cool all right let's check it out there it is this is the big boy right there Coming nice and slow, nice and slow. They're traveling super slow. If they're traveling at this rate and they're trying to get up to Fairbanks or whatever, that's gonna be a freaking 24 hour drive. There it comes, right there, it's the second one. Whoa, look at that. Okay, it's not this one, it's that one right there. <coughs> what is that? Oh, that's a big old airplane. What in the world is that? Fly BMA. Oh, whoa, wow. That's a freaking big old airplane. That is amazing. What is the story behind this, guys? If you guys know what the story is behind this, let us know in the comment section. There's a few regular vehicles. Let me go talk to this lady. Do you know what the story is behind this? Uh, it's a aircraft training uh -huh. facility up in oh. close to Houston. It's okay. right past the Big Lake Turnoff. <coughs> okay. And they're supposed to be using it for uh, Airbnb and student housing. Really? That's okay. that's kind of be interesting to see. Yeah. Um, it'll be really easy to find because that's on Hot Plain if you go up to like the Houston High School. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, my husband got to see that when it actually landed at Merrill Field uh -huh. ten years ago. Wow. Wow. Really equipped for big so that like that's that. been stored at Merrill Field this whole time. Yep. And they, then they're just moving it now, huh? They, they were using it as a training tool. Yep, yep. So I sat here for three and a half hours last night. Oh, you're waiting for it? Yeah. And, and then it didn't show up. Oh, okay. and it finally showed up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good okay, night. You all right guys it's a aircraft and they're gonna use it for some kind of housing it's heading up to houston houston from here where we are standing right now if you're to drive normally it's about maybe another hour it's probably gonna take about five hours to six hours for that guy to get up there at that speed i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's not a crazy aircraft it's not a rocket ship it's an old big old airplane 
see you guys next time.